Good afternoon, everyone. This afternoon, we are going to talk about a philosophical, philosophical, moral, or philosophical lessons given to us by Shamsit Tabareji. He was considered to be a great philosopher of Iraq, whose wisdom was seamless and he was the ustad, the guru, the teacher of King Rome. One day, Shamsi went to the kingdom of Molona Rome or King Rome. Everybody was visiting him and everybody was going back to the king and admiring him that he is the cornucopia of knowledge and the wisdom and the philosophy. King Rome himself decided to visit him. But he visited him not as a king, but as, a, as an ordinary citizen, ordinary subject. He sat down there and listened to all the things that Samsa Zabriji said, went back to his palace and decided the next day I'm going to go and become his disciple. Next day he went over there in the form of a king, wearing king's clothes and everything and uh, proposed to Shamsa Zabriji that I want to become your disciple, your pupil, your student. Shamsa Zabriji told him, no, you cannot. He said, why not? You are a king and you have a very inflated, very big ego. You are not going to be able to learn or I will be able to teach you. So he said, no, that is not true. I'm willing to do anything to become your disciple. Some of the brothers told him, okay, then tomorrow morning you pick up a basket, big basket. Collect the garbage of your kingdom in king's dress. Not in any kind of disguise, but everybody should know that you are the king, Rome. You collect the garbage, put the garbage on your head, go places to places in the city, and then you come back and uh, I'm going to talk to you. King, Rome did the same thing as suggested by Shamsita Breji. He went to of neighborhood to neighborhood collected the garbage, put the garbage in the big basket and put the basket on the head. Everybody was saying that what's happened to the king? King must have gone cuckoo. He must have gone mad. What is matter with him that he's collecting the garbage and putting the garbage on the head? Nevertheless, he did it, went to the Shamsita Breji and told him that, look, I did what to you told me too, and now you did. Now you do what you told me. Some of the British say, okay, now you would be my disciple. First lesson, some of the British told him was this, what we are going to elaborate about. He said, hum chum sabza bar arui da am. Hafta dar hafta di kali bida am. He said, This is my first lesson to you. Hamcha sabza bara rui da am. Meaning, we must grow like a grass. No matter how many times somebody is going to chop us off, somebody is going to cut us off, but still we should grow, 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 and grow. So, I like this. And I today, I'm going to upload this thing on our video. So the meaning of the Hamchu Shabza Bara Rui the Am, Hafta Dar Hafta the Kalib Di the Am, is that we should grow like a grass continuously, perennially, seamlessly, even if we have lots of obstacles and lots of problems and lots of tentacles. In our way, we should tackle all the tentacles and keep on moving, toppling all kinds of obstacles and all kinds of barriers. That is human. So I created four points of my own. 
Point number one is we must grow taller and taller like a grass. It is actually something that they just a motivational speech. Motivates all of us. That we, are, we should be like a grass. Grass always grows and grows and grows. If you cut it off, it's still it's going to grow. You cut second time, millions of times you cut. Grass is all, always going to grow without having any kind of human help. Grass is never going to stop growing. Same way, we, the human, must not stop growing. Growing to our objective, our goal, our mission, our destination. Number two is human progress must be eternal, not terminal. Our progress is never terminal. After graduation, we can just sit down, you know, folding our hands and putting in our lap that now I have completed graduation. No, that's not enough. According to some sort of religion, you still have to go for MBA. I mean, for post-graduation, after that, you have to go for PhD, and you have to go for fellowship, and you have to go for higher education, and a higher, and a higher, and a higher, in order to progress in life, because our progress, according to Shabshat Ambrazi, is eternal, never terminal. Point number three, grass is cut millions of times, but it keeps on growing. He told Molana Rum, Mr. King Rum, Shabshat Ambrazi told King Rum that, look, listen, grass is cut millions of times, but it keeps on growing. You are a king. Keep on growing. Be nicer to your subject, nicer to your people. Be nice king. Be prosperous king, making others prosperous. And don't worry about how many times you have to face tentacles, you have to face obstacles. But keep on going and growing like a grass, which is cut millions of times, but it does not stop. Point number four. We must never embrace defeat, no matter what. His next moral, next, next sermon, next gospel to King Rome was that no matter what happens, no matter what kind of troubles, what kind of problems, what kind of tentacles, what kind of tantrums we have to face in our life, we must never embrace defeat. We must never be defeated, no matter what. Means no matter what happens, but our progress must be persistent. Our progress must be sustainable. It must be perennial. It must never be truncated, but always protracted. And he said, that is my first lesson for the day. After that, have told Kalib Dida Am. Now, after a long time, Shabsat Abriji left. Malana Rome learned lots of things. I mean, this king learned lots of things from him. Now, he, he became just like him, very philosophical, very humble, very knowledgeable, the scholarly, erudite, philosophical. And, and whenever his subject, his people would ask him, King Rome, where did you learn all those philosophical things, all those mind-boggling things, all those, they, all those things that fascinate us, tantalizing us, scintillating us? Then, then King Rome used to say, Morvi Hargisna Sud Molana Rome, Tagulame Sabsatam Rezina Sud. What he said, that this King Rome is now Molana Rome. And he would have never become Molana Rome, never, ever, ever, never become Molana Rome until and unless he would have become the disciple of Shamsi Tabrezi. Molvi Hargizna Sud Molana Rome. Tagulame Shamsi Tabrezi Nasud. If I would not have become the humble, Obeying disciple of Samsat Abreji, I would have never had any kind of knowledge or philosophy, eternal knowledge, or internal knowledge, external knowledge, erudite, erudition, nothing I would have had. 
unless and until I would have become the disciple of Shamsitabreji. So that's all the guys who now remember what we have achieved out of that, what we have learned. We have to learn the lesson from a simple, mundane, mundane grass, that the grass does not stop growing. How we, the human, can stop growing? Think about it. That's the food to thought, food for your thought. Thank you very much for listening. That's all the time we have. See you again next time. Until then, God bless everyone on this planet. Amen.